happening right there? I missed it. A ship. A ship? Attacked me. A ship attacked me. Wow, okay. Plug this one in. Let's show everybody what we did. Okay, so here we are again at the end of another time lapse work day. Uh, let's hold the front down so it doesn't hit the tail. So, what do we do here? What? What do we do? We put... Yeah, what are they called? Um... I, I don't know what they're called. Starts with an S. Receiver! No. S-E. Server! No. Servo. Servos. There you go. We stuck the servos in here. We got the wires made and bent. We had to bend all the ends and get all the things right. And we put our sticks and our ends on there. Let's look at our ends. Hold this for me. So here's our, what are these called? Horn fins. Horns. Horns. Those? Something like Elvis. Clevis. <laughs> Something like Elvis. Clevis. Let me see. Oh, you look great. You look awesome. High five for beautiful, amazing, terrible, horribleness. Sorry about that, kiddo. Are you okay? What in the world yes. did you do? Mommy hit my lip. Yep, yeah, running around acting like fools. That's what happens. Show us Crazy. down the hole. What? Show us down the hole. Your finger's in the way. Oh. Uh, I hear you. Nothing's hitting in there. Sorry, Elijah. I'll come check it out in a second, okay? So we took the mounting bracket off the front. But we do have the wheel. Do the wheel so we can see it. So we have a horn attached to the wheels. We can drive the front. And we also got the tail. And we got the elevators. Elevator. And the rudder. So you're you're controlling that. I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll be right there. You're controlling that with the servo tester at the moment. So, put it in auto. Oh. So we got good range of motion. We adjusted this to be a little less movement, but we got the tail moving its maximum. And we got the uh, wheel on the front moving pretty well as much as it can without hitting. Okay, you can turn it off. <clears throat> So next we're going to weigh it, and then we're going to check out the motor for the next part of this video series. You ready for that? Look at this prop. Look how look, it's bigger than your face by like twice. Alright, let's go check out Elijah. He busted his face open. Yay! Okay, so we've got our <laughs> three planes up here, but we're weighing. Oh my, what's wrong with your face? We are weighing... The wing by itself, which I can't see very well from my angle. Uh, so it looks like about, we'll call it 600 grams, Riley. Which is not even a pound. So remember mm. 600 grams. 600! Wow. This looks interesting just dangling there, huh? Alright, so the plane is about 825 and 850. We'll say 850. We do not have the motor mount or anything in there. We just have the servos and the wheels and stuff. 
So eight, 850 plus 600. It's 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6. Beep, 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 beep. It's, uh, late, it's late in the day, but you can still do math. I know. It's almost bedtime. Six plus eight. Fourteen. Okay, so fourteen. Eight and a half. So fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half. One thousand four hundred. One thousand. Four. Fourteen hundred and fifty grams. If, that, if your math is right. We'll figure it out here in a second. How many pounds that is. I guess it was three. What did you say? I said three to four pounds at least. I missed all the excitement because I wasn't filming. It was three pounds. Well, do the excitement thing again. I was right. That wasn't nearly as half as exciting. Try it again. I was right! That's better. <laughs> um, so I did a little quick Googling. And uh, we're at about 3.2 pounds. So 3.2 pounds for these components. Let's see how much one of these batteries weigh. 1600. Gross, That's 3.5 pounds. Wait, this thing's 3 pounds? This battery weighs as much as the entire plane at the moment. So that's <laughs> That's a lot. That's what I figured we'd have about a 6 to 8 pound plane. So that's not too bad actually. We're doing good. Not making it too We, we just gotta figure out if props and stuff are gonna work. We'll figure that out sooner than later. Now what? We're weighing... Those three things. What are they? The motor, the prop, and the metal thingy. <laughs> the, the motor bracket. So this bracket is for a gas-powered motor, but... We're making it into electric. So it weighs about 300. We'll call it 300. And, uh, we'll call it 350. So we're going to add our 1400 plus our 350. And then we're gonna add the motor or the battery. The battery was what six thousand? Oh, we already added that. Did we? I have no idea. No, we did not. So I'm just gonna add six hundred, right? Mm -hmm. Twenty four hundred. So twenty four hundred. Oh, I can't do anything. 2,400. So it's 5.29 pounds. So our plan We did some math wrong, did we? 600. We did the first. We did the 600 plus the 850 plus the battery. Oh, the battery was 1,600. Remember? 1,600. Not 600. Wow, that's cool. How much is the plane? 600 plus 850 plus 1600 plus whatever this was. This was 350. 3400. So, 3400. 7.5 pounds. Pretty close to 8 pounds. So pretty close to 8 pounds. So what I was told is if you want to do some really crazy flying, you need you need to have about 200 watts per pound. The motor, that's right here, is about 800 watts maximum. Maximum 800. So that's how far it's going to go before it goes poof. Yes. So 200 watts per pound. Okay. We have seven and a half pounds so if we take seven 
0.5 and divide that by multiply that by 200 we need 1500 watts to do like acrobatic stuff but if we do 100 we're at 750 so we're about 700 watts per pound so we'll be able to fly comfortably and Amen. cruise around without crashing yeah. that's kind of what we want because we want to make this thing autonomous what does autonomous mean? fly by itself oh yeah remember? Mm -hmm. with our nonsense that we've created over there yeah. that's the goal so we're roughly 100 watts per pound roughly so what are we going to do next? get that stuff and what are we going to do with it? We're gonna cut those metal. I think I'm gonna keep it on there to mount them. Well, we were gonna cut them off. Yeah. But will. We, I think we're gonna maybe. keep them. And then we're gonna mount the motor onto it. Yep. And then we're gonna test flight all of our props. Yep. We're gonna test all of our props and we're gonna find out how much force they produce. And then we'll know which prop is the most efficient and which prop produces the most torque. And what we got to be careful about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much pounds it lifts. That's what we want to know. And then we also want to know how much energy it uses. And we'll put all that in a spreadsheet so we can graph it. Don't yawn, don't yawn, don't yawn, don't yawn. We're going to graph all this data. Look at your eyeballs bleed it out because you're, ble you're like... I did yawn. I know, internally, and your eyeballs show it. Anyway, <laughs> so the, the idea here is to understand... What kind of power we need, what kind of power we can, and then we can estimate how long the plane will fly. That'll be helpful. Good night. I'm tired. Bye bye. <laughs> See ya. Any last words for the night? Good night. Good night. Oh my lord. <laughs> Here, let me show you what I see. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Don't let that hit you in the noggin. It's sharp.